This might take a little while. What's up guys, Tyrannical545 here. So as I've mentioned in a couple of videos now, I recently attended Brick Fair Virginia 2022, and this is my mostly complete haul of everything that I got at the convention. This will not be accounting for the stuff I got from Ziantro Custom Wares because as you might have seen, that was already its own video. And like you probably saw in the title of this video, this was roughly $600 worth of stuff, which is not even half of what Kevlar spent on his stuff, but you know. Regardless, I thought it would be fun to look over everything I got. This video is probably going to be relatively long, so I'm just going to get right into things. So I think just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to take this and put it off camera, then kind of pull out of it. So I'm not really doing this in any kind of specific order. I'm just sort of pulling things out of the bin and we'll look over them as I go. So right off the bat, I got one of the biggest pick-a-brick cups. I got this at the Lego store with GCS and Kevlar. They were both getting the biggest cup, so I figured I'd get it as well because there, there were some pretty useful pieces in there. Like, uh, you can kind of see it right at the bat. There's some of these flame pieces and some of these kind of uh, foliage pieces. And most surprisingly and most excitingly, a bunch of these kind of like double stud jumper plates. Uh, you can see there's more there. Those are actually on uh, Teron's crotch, and I use them on a lot of mocks. They're very useful pieces. So yeah, I was very happy to increase my stock on those. Additionally, at the lego store i got this vip um i believe it's a lego extra series uh poly bag that is pirate themed and then somewhat on theme at the expo center they gave all the exhibitors a free poly bag which is pretty cool and in my specific case i got this city car one i'm gonna move these back a little bit moving on i got the uh, new ninjago crystallized nia samurai x mech and it's not in the box I had to fly to Virginia, so a lot of the box sets I got, I had to ditch the boxes and just throw the bags into my bag. So yeah, as awesome as the Ninjago Crystallized box art is, I had to unfortunately ditch the box for this and uh, one other Crystallized set that I got. But all the bags are here, obviously, and the instructions are, um, I, I don't actually know where I put those, but th they're somewhere around here. And funny story of those, me and Kevlar actually called ahead and reserved the last two Nia Samurai mechs uh, that they had. So yeah, we got the last two that they had in stock, which was very, very awesome. Speaking of the other crystallized set I got, that set in question would be the Jay's Electro Bike. It's not particularly like a great set or anything, it's just the smallest crystallized set, and I, I, I freaking love this Ninjago Crystallized Wave, so I figured I'd get it. So mine is the City Poly Bag, everything there I got at the Lego store close to the Expo Center. But going into something that I actually got at the Expo Center, I got this pretty awesome Tech Infection Wave Nexo Knight set. It came sealed, like I said, I had to open it to uh, get it home, but I paid $90 for it sealed, which is definitely on the more expensive side, given that the set was 30 when it came out. But I mean, it was one of the system sets that I was looking for the most going into the Expo Center. And on average, it goes for around like 70 sealed. So I didn't overpay for it too much. I don't know, maybe that wasn't the best purchase, but I'm just very, very happy to finally own this incredible looking set. So I'll kind of slide this uh, over here. I'm also gonna move this by it because I got it at the Expo Center. Gotta kinda keep things on theme and move this as well. Anyway, continuing to go over stuff that I got at the Expo Center, I got these two incomplete construction figures on the, I believe it was the first yard sale day. It was like five or 10 bucks for both of them. And I mean, they have some very awesome pieces. So, you know, I figured I couldn't pass them up. I also got a couple of Bionicle G1 sets. The Mattel was $5 and the Korok was $10, I believe. Korok I specifically wanted because he's the only one of the original Barak that I don't have. And the Mattel I just got because like the, the eye stock alone goes for like five bucks on Bricklink. So yeah, $5 for the entire figure. And it did actually come with his mask. I just have it in a separate bag. And I actually think we can go over that separate bag. Just gotta do a little bit of readjusting here. So these are all of the official uh, Bionicle masks and heads and Hero Factory helmets and all the things of that sort that I got at the convention. These were taken out of like some of the random parts bags that I got that you'll see a little bit later on. And also some of them I just bought individually. And I'm just gonna rapid fire through all of them really fast. 
Metal mask from earlier. Evo breakout helmet. Lee Wanuva mask. Tahumata mask. Two uh, Vizon masks. These were, it was five bucks for both of these. I, I don't know why I bought these. Bronze Pohatu mask. Regular Pohatu mask. This thing, which I've been told was from a Mega Bloks knockoff of Bionicle. Silver Skull Spider mask. Galimata mask. Nokama mask. Kopaka master mask. Onuamata mask. Yeet head. I believe this is from Norik. Uh, shout out to Ben Kasi though, for who I uh, bought this off of. And finally, I completely forgot this guy's name, but I'm going to use it on the Borok Rancher. So there were all of the official masks that I bought, but I actually got some uh, 3D printed masks. Starting us off, these four I actually got from your boy GCS Animations. He gave all of us in our little group uh, five 3D printed masks each. I know I gave one away. I think I gave it to Stargard because he wanted it. But yeah, I got these four from him. I'm not even going to act like I know what the backstory of any of these masks are. I just know that I believe this one's like an, it's like an elemental power mask or something. I'm a G1 noob, but thank you so much GCS for giving me all those. Shout out to him. I got this mask from a random seller at the yard sale. I don't remember who it was specifically, but I just thought it looked cool, so yeah. And then these were actually from two different sellers. I just bagged them together to make uh, getting them home a tiny bit easier. I got this incredible custom painted mask from Moldot Masks. I am so sorry if I said that wrong. But yeah, it's his mask painted in a kind of cool lime green, white, and gold uh, color scheme. And I specifically bought this mask off of him because um, th th it was one of the only masks he had that were in colors that also come in official Lego sets. Most of his other masks, while being freaking incredible paint job wise, um, they were painted in uh, kind of custom colors that don't match any official Lego colors, meaning I would have had to go out to Hobby Lobby and bought the paints that he used to make them match. And all three of these colors already come in Lego. So yeah, I will absolutely be able to get use out of this. Shout out to Moldat. Then additionally, I got this bad boy from uh, Red Star Games. They had their own little table in the vendor area and uh, Lena Veltapaz was actually with them, which was pretty cool. And yeah, I just saw this mask and I thought it looked freaking incredible and I knew I had to buy it. Shout out to Kevlar and Jammy who also both wanted this mask and I, I kind of bought it before them. I'm sorry about that, guys. I will put it to good use, I swear. So yeah, again, shout out to these two guys. And let's readjust and press on. I briefly mentioned these earlier, but I got two uh, random just bags of Bionicle pieces. Now, all the parts kind of got jumbled up, but I believe I bought this one uh, on its own for $20 on one of the yard sale days. And I believe this bag is a mix of a bunch of different pieces I bought like individually and from a bunch of the random parts bins in the vendor area. I'm not gonna dump them out and look through them because this video is probably gonna be long enough already. But yeah, getting more parts is always awesome, so I was very happy to get both of these. There is one specific thing uh, that came out of those bags I wanted to go over. And by that, I mean I had it stored in that bag and I just remembered it. Now, I got um, just a bountiful supply of uh, flat silver shells. I wish I got the dude's Instagram, but there was a very, very, very kind guy, and I believe like his younger brother, who had just a bin of Bionicle parts, and he let uh, me and Stargard both put in ten dollars and just dig through the bins and like they were like all right we'll tell you when you have both spent like ten dollars each and yeah i just got all the silver shells i could see because i use this color so much on mocks i love it so much and i was running low on shells in this color so seeing this many more of them in sizes three four and five was absolutely incredible shout out to those two random guys who let us dig through their bin i do not remember what their instagram was and i also don't even think i asked for it so Continuing things I got at the yard sale, I got these two Ninjago sets. This one here is the uh, Rattlecopter, and this is the Fangpire Wrecking Ball. I also was able to bring the box to the uh, Fangpire Wrecking Ball home. Surprisingly, I was able to fit it in one of my bags. But yeah, this was $20 for all the parts kind of in the bag like this. And this was $75 with the box and instructions. And uh, the guy was very nice and he let me actually buy it for $60, which is incredible because this is one of the Ninjago sets I've always wanted the most. And I've actually never owned any of the Snake vehicles. So yeah, owning both of these is very, very neat. Speaking of sets that I always wanted, I got the Praetorian Guard. 
Now I paid, I believe $35 for this, which is a little bit much, but I mean, the set is normally like 40 to 50 on Bricklink and eBay, as far as I can recall. And I really, really wanted this set for all the really awesome red pieces in it. So I figured I'd bite the bullet and buy it. Plus the guy said that if I bought this, I could get the um, two, like the Joker and Green Lantern construction figures for a little bit cheaper. So yeah, it was a little bit expensive for what it is, but I'm still very happy to finally own this set, mainly for the parts. Next, we have two very different um, items that I got. We got one of these kind of, it's a large scale uh, stud shooter. I was gonna call it human scale, but it is definitely smaller than what would be technically human scale, I guess you could call it. They were actually selling a bigger size of one of these, but it was 30 and this was only five. And I mean, honestly, I'm probably just gonna put it on my shelf anyway. So I figured I didn't need to bite the bullet for the $30 one. Now I'm sure you're probably wondering, does it work? And then similarly to that, I got a, again, not quite a uh, human scale, but a large scale uh, Lego lightsaber. I believe it was $10 for this, but the guy also let you take four, di oh, four different blades. This one is glow in the dark. Uh, I got this one so I could maybe do like a dual wielding type thing. And I got the yellow one because I, I think that was actually the, I think these were the only three colors that he had. I'm just gonna kind of throw these back there. Next, we got this bag, and I did not buy everything here um, in one purchase. This is just a bunch of random stuff that I threw in the one bag. After we went to the Lego store, we went to a Barnes & Nobles, which is in the same mall, and I got this very, very awesome new bathtub, uh, like, racer motorcycle. I forgot the name of the, of the line, but yeah, it's like bathtub motorcycle set. Just because, I mean, come on, look at it. I don't think I need to justify my purchase. I think this comes with that set, too. It was in the bag, and I'm assuming that's uh, where it came from. Then, on one of the yard sale days, I was able to snag a Prince Kalmar minifigure. The guy was selling it for, I believe, like $8, but I actually gave him um, a Lord of the Rings minifigure that I brought along with me. I'll put an image of it up on screen. And he let me get it for only $2, which is a very, very good deal for this minifigure. I was not planning on getting any of the sets that Kalmar comes in, and I think he's just a really entertaining character in the show. So yeah, I wanted to get a figure of him. Although that being said, I have no idea how like valuable that Lord of the Rings figure I gave away was. I just don't have any interest in Lord of the Rings, so I figured I'd get rid of it. Comment below if you know if that figure was like incredibly valuable or not. Evan, in that same bag was this uh, clone, clone commander figure that Jamie gave to me because I... Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Shout out to you, Jamie. We're reaching the end here, folks. So the only remaining things I have besides two items that I'm going to say for the very end are actually stuff that all my friends gave me. So let's go over that. So right off the bat, I got this Llama video set from GCS. His work actually gave him a bunch of video sets for free because as we all know, that theme sold absolutely horrendously. So he gave all of us a free video set and I chose the Llama one because I mean, I mean, I, I just, come on now. So yeah, thank you so much, GCS, for that. And uh, I also got this dot set from either GCS or Kevlar. I'll admit, I do not remember which one of them gave it to me, but uh, it was one of them. Shout out to both of them anyway. These next few things I definitely know that I got from Kevlar. So he gave me Pixels, uh, Sons of Garmadon Mech. He told me he wasn't sure if it was complete or not. Honestly, I don't really mind if it is or not. I'll just probably rebuild it with pieces that I have. And yeah, this mech is actually pretty prevalent in the show. And I already have the pixel minifigure that uh, came with the mech. So yeah, it was pretty cool to get the mech itself. Then also from Kevlar, I got this um, random bag of stuff. And I think I'm going to dump this all out and do another uh, quick montage. Sons of Garmadon Garmadon. Iron Baron. Season 11 Nia. Season 11 Kai. Season 11 Lloyd, Season 11 Cole, and this Season 11 J. I specifically asked him for any uh, Season 11 ninja suits that he didn't need anymore. We also got a uh, random 501st Trooper. Ah, uh, God, freaking uh, Bruce by mine, Kimbo Bonet. I believe this is a Mango Whipper. Random Hidden Side Kid with an awesome wing piece. Random Skulkin dude who I think was supposed to be Whiplash, but he just kind of appears in the show as like a random uh, Skulkin dude, so we'll just call him Krusty. Then a whole random assortment of miscellaneous kind of neat and interesting pieces. But that is not all from Kevlar. He also very, very randomly and awesomely gave me... The Firestone Mech Ninjago set. Now, he has confirmed to me that the set is incomplete. Uh, he basically started to build it, just didn't really care for the set. Uh, took all the useful pieces off of it, and he had all like of these pieces just sitting in a bin, and he figured he would just give them all to me. And I mean, incomplete or not, it's a $60 Ninjago set. I believe 70 or 80 from where he comes from. 
So the fact that he was willing to give me it mostly complete is very, very genuine, and I'm very happy about that. Thank you so much, Kevlar, for not only this, but all the other stuff you gave me. And yeah, let me uh, move these so they are not taking up the entire screen anymore. I take it back, I'm actually going to move them over here. I guess this is technically part of the haul. I got this uh, Jack Stone figure that someone left on our table, and I, I think I was allowed to take it home. I'm not quite sure, but it's here now, and I have no idea who put it there. So um, if the person who put it there wants to comment below, tell me what they did, I will ship it back to you. But uh, it, it, it's very weird seeing one of these guys because they are, God, they are so bad. Now, these are definitely worthy of being included in the haul. I got these two uh 2004 bionicle comics which ttv was at or i guess specifically uh, lj and mesonac were giving out at their uh, live knack and jay episode i think i had was it this one? No, oh, it was this one yeah there you go i had mesonac sign the inside of this one which is very very cool and yeah, I've actually never owned any Bionicle comics before, so it was very cool to not only get them, but get them from TTV themselves. And I have no idea where I'm going to put these. Uh, they'll just go uh, right, right here. And before we get on to our final very awesome item, I thought I would just include uh, this, this Ninjago Crystal I set. Um, I actually got it uh, like a couple days ago um, after I was already back here, but um, I, I got it recently and I bought it with some of the leftover money I was planning on spending at the convention, so I, I figured I'd include it. But for the final items of the Tyrannical 545 Rick Fair Virginia 2022 haul video, we have... And that's going to be it for this haul. I want to once again thank all my awesome friends who not only made the trip itself awesome, but gave me some pretty cool stuff that was featured in this haul video. Like I said, there's going to be a vlog for the trip coming. Yeah, I don't even know when. It'll be coming soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See y'all later. Goodbye.